Hello, cooking enthusiasts. This week's video is going to be a little bit different. I'm primarily going to show you some footage of a new camera that I got. It's the Samsung Gear 360. I don't know. It's going to take forever, Quinn. Now, 360 is actually slightly inaccurate for this camera because it's actually taking spherical footage in almost every direction. What you are seeing now is my dad grinding some dry-aged trimmings to make meatballs. As you can see, because I have footage in almost every direction, I can essentially pick my camera angle in post and even animate between different views. Some of the animations are a little rough, and there's definitely some room for improvement, especially when it comes to positioning and securing the camera, but overall, I'm pretty happy with the results. To be more specific, the meat here are the trimmings from my 43-day dry-aged short ribs that I talked about in the last update, and the trimmings from the roughly 28-day dry-aged picanhas. I actually do have footage of the picanhas being processed, but I'll include those in my next video, which will entirely be a dry-aging update. Now this is grinding up pork fat that was partially frozen. As you've probably noticed, there are tiny movements in the camera that I believe are just the whole setup shaking a little. I did attempt to stabilize some of this sped up footage, and it kind of worked, but this is only my second attempt using the camera. This isn't an exact recipe, but the blend 
is roughly 35% dry aged beef, 35% pork fat, and 30% lean pork shoulder that my dad had previously ground. And to that, we're adding salt, pepper, chopped up parsley, some fermented garlic in this case, and yes, it is normal for it to be that color, some breadcrumbs soaked in milk, and a few eggs. I'm actually relatively happy with the audio quality of the camera. It gets a little echoey in some locations, but you can definitely hear what's going on. I just thought I would mute it so there's not an extended sequence of meat mushing noises. It's really nice being able to include some actual footage into the videos, and I'm excited for when there's interesting camera angle and perspective opportunities. Sometimes you'll see the resolution isn't great, but I do occasionally need to zoom in quite far to get the focus of the frame correct. One upside to that is that the more I zoom in, the less fish eye distortion I get. Going two ounces now. Quinn, you don't want me to be filming the whole time. I'll be here for a couple hours rolling. Huh? And that, that's it. You want some one ounces? They almost have a, a liver quality, Quinn. Right. Yeah. Well, it's the funny thing is, we make liver sausage, right? Yeah. And this, we even the look, look and the feel of it, to me is my parent, my mom, or my parents, my family's liver sausage. Yeah, that jar aged. Hey. Most of the meatballs got baked off and frozen, but we saved a few of the smaller ones to fry off in a pan and then simmer in some tomato sauce that my dad had already made. And actually, the liver flavor that my dad commented on makes sense. The liver is responsible for breaking down and recycling proteins and amino acids, which is part of what gives it its distinct flavor. And some of those same protein breakdown 
processes happen during dry aging thanks to built-in enzymes in the muscle tissue. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and are excited about this new camera. If you have any questions about that, please let me know in the comments or questions about the meatballs. Otherwise, thank you for watching.